Hey guys, I hope you're all doing okay. Today it's a really, really sunny day and it's very sort of like spring has sprung and I just really want to have a bit of a spring clean and um, you can probably tell I'm stood in front of a very messy wardrobe which is not like me at all because I'm a very organised person and a very tidy person. Um, but somehow my wardrobe has managed to get into this state of just like throwing clothes in and um, yeah I really need to tidy it so I thought I'd film it and I thought I'd um, give you a few um, hints and tips and things um, of how you can get a tidy wardrobe and something that's just going to help you out when you're getting ready. So I think if you have a really tidy wardrobe and it's ordered either in sort of colour order or warmth order, by warmth I mean like vests, t-shirts, jumpers, cardigans, that sort of thing. Um, it really does help you to save money, believe it or not, because when you're going shopping, um, you can actually look in your wardrobe before you go and think, right, I've got a huge section of vests, I've not got many um, tops in this colour, and I've got loads of cardigans. So it helps you sort of decide what to buy, and um, you just sort of save money, because you don't buy things that you've already got, because you know exactly what's on show. So I think if you want to have a really successful, tidy wardrobe, one of the main tips, I think, is to really be rational. By that I mean, don't think, oh, I might hang on to this because I could wear it one day, or I'll slim into that, I haven't worn that in about six months, but I'll keep it anyway because I might wear it. You really can't do that, and that's something that I've done in the past, I'm not going to say that I wear everything in my wardrobe because I don't. Um, I do have a lot of clothes that I've had for a lot of years, and I do have a lot of new clothes as well. So, um... I think I just really need to tidy it out today and um, sort out the good from the bad. Another tip that I think really helps when you're tidying out your wardrobe or your closet is to just be in a positive mindset. What I like to do is stick on some music, have the windows open, just get some fresh air in and just tidy everything out and um, yeah, it just it makes you feel, I don't know, I really like tidying, I'm that kind of weird person but um, I just love clearing stuff out and um, deciding whether something needs to be thrown away or taken to a charity shop or stick it on eBay um, if it's in good condition. Um, you can often sell things on eBay and um, just for like a couple of pounds or whatever but I mean it's a couple of pounds that you didn't have before that's just sitting in your wardrobe. Another thing that you can do is sort out what needs to be washed, what needs to be ironed and um, things that you definitely want to keep and save things that make you feel good. Like I said before, if you've got something that's been in there for like six months or whatever, or a year, or even more than that, and you haven't wore it, why are you keeping it? If it doesn't make you feel good, then um, that's obviously why you're not wearing it. So keep things that you really like, that make you look nice and feel good, and um, throw away everything else. So one of the first things that I like to do is literally just pull everything out that's not hung up. So all these clothes here that I've just seemed to have thrown on top, I just throw them in a big pile over there. So I'll just pull all these things out. Chuck them in a pile. And then I also make a pile of coat hangers. So any loose coat hangers that you've got just sticking up, pull those out. and stick those in a pile as well so that way we've got a nice clean base to work from and we can pull things out and put things back in. Okay so now I've got all the junk out that was laid on top of the rails and um, what I'm going to do is just look through it first before I start putting this huge pile of clothes back in and um, I'm just going to look through and decide if there's anything that I don't want anymore that I'm going to either give to charity or sell on eBay. And I usually colour coordinate things per section, which is really sad. I'm just going to come forward a little bit because I don't think you can see me right over there. <laughs> but um, once I've organised things into the type of clothing, like I said, vests, cardigans, blouses, then within the sections I like to colour coordinate them which you probably think is weird, but um, some people will know where I'm coming from. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sort 
that out now and then um, I can start hanging the things up that are piled up on the floor. Also, another quick tip that I have is if you have two vests of the same colour or similar colour and it's taking up room, then just simply take one off, use the hammer for something else and double them up. It saves a lot of room and you can still see both colour vests on the same hammer. Okay, so I've just finished doing out this section of my wardrobe. I've cleared out so many clothes and I've got the hugest pile of coat hangers and things that I don't want in my, in my wardrobe anymore, which I'll show you in a second because it's kind of embarrassing how much I've thrown away but how much I've still got. But I've actually got gaps in my wardrobe now which makes me feel really good and um, I can move things around whereas before it was like really really jam packed and I could barely even fit anything in once it had been washed because it was so tight. Um, so yeah, I'll show you it now. Um, I haven't finished all of it yet. I've got another wardrobe at the side here which has my dresses and trousers in. So I'm going to do that next but um, I just thought I'd show you this bit. So I'm going to pick the camera up and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so this bit in the bottom here holds my tops. So on this side, up to here, I've put in um, long sleeve tops. So again, like I said, they go in colour order. I know you can't really see me, this is a bit of an awkward angle, but just bear with me. <laughs> so here I've got um, black long sleeve tops. Who can kneel down? That's better. Okay, so I've got black long sleeve tops through to grey, then my colours, and then whites. And then here I have um, short sleeve tops. Again, going from black through grey, through the colours, to cream and white. And then here, I've got all my vests here. So again, going through black, grey, through my colours, cream and then white. Now when I have my wardrobe arranged before, I actually had um, my dressy tops, sort of going out tops, separate from my casual ones. But I thought there's no real point in that because then um, what I tend to do is wear just like really casual clothes um, through the day and then when I'm going out wear really dressy clothes but I want to kind of start mixing it up a bit so wearing things that are perhaps a little bit more dressy in the day and more casual at night not to say I'm going to completely switch but I just want to have the um, ability to sort of wear what I want when I want so I've actually put the dressy tops in between the casual ones so it's sort of makes my mind think that I can wear them whenever I want, which I can really. It's silly to just wear something that's got a bit of sequins on and think, oh, that's only for night time. Like, you can wear it whenever you want. So that's what I've done. So you can see I've got, like, plain T-shirts in, in this bit here. But then I've also got, like, sequined um, nighttime tops. So I really like the way that this is organised now. So that's all nice and neat. And then I'll show you above. I might have to hold the camera. Now over in this corner I actually keep my skirts, so I've got like black bodycon skirts and some navy blue ones and some grey ones and then I've got cream cardigans and I've actually got some sort of, you know like on my floaty um, waistcoats and things like that there and then I have jumpers and cardigans again in colour order. So that's the newly arranged wardrobe that's nice and neat. And now I've got to tackle this, which is like jam-packed <laughs> full of dresses and um, just a complete mess. So I'm going to do this bit now and hopefully I can get rid of some dresses that I don't wear. Let me just show you. This is everything. <laughs> this is everything that I'm throwing away or giving to charity shops or selling on eBay. So basically everything that I don't want and this pile is like really deep of <laughs> just a load of clothes that I really just don't wear. And then I've got like a ton of coat hangers <laughs> which is really good. And Millie. Okay so I'm going to tackle the dress section now. So I've just done the same thing with my dress section. Again I mixed um, casual summer day dresses with the nighttime dresses so I have the ability to wear both like whenever I want and I put them in colour order from black to white or cream I don't really have a white dress but um black to cream 
you probably think that I'm some crazy organisational freak, but um, I really do like things in um, colour order, so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, and just a couple of reminders on the tips. Don't have any ifs or buts about like anything, just you either love it or you don't like it. If there's something that you think, mm, I could wear it or I might wear it again one day, just just throw it away, honestly, you'll be so much more pleased um, when you see the pile of clothes and you see your lovely new neat wardrobe and it'll be so much easier to get ready in the morning as well when you look and you can think, right, I want a pair of jeans, I want um, you know, a short sleeve top with a floaty cardigan, you can just go to the places and just pick it out. Keep things into sort of three main piles really, keep a washing pile, um, a pile that you want to keep and a pile that is just no good anymore. Do try things on as well because I know I said if you're not sure then chuck it away but if you're not sure try it on and think does this make me feel good, do I look good in it um, and then decide from there. I really hope you enjoyed this video, I know it's something a little bit different for this channel. I know a lot of people think that I'm all about makeup but I do really like fashion as well. Um, so. Yeah, see you all in my next video. I hope you enjoy tidying out your wardrobes as well. Okay, bye!